Good day guys. Today we are going to discuss dead weight and drop and we hinge hip problems 5 and 6. Problem number 5, MB hinge hip is floating at a draft of 7.12 meters, loads 900 tons of cargo in number 3 twin deck. We have to calculate her final hydrostatic draft and state whether this loading will trim her by the head or by the stern. At a hydrostatic draft of 7.12 meters, we have to enter the tables and find her displacement in salt water. 7.12 meters the displacement will be between 14,299 and 14,761 metric tons. So, after interpolating, we find the displacement to be 14,576.2 metric tons. We now had, we, we are now loading 900 tons of cargo. We add that to the initial displacement, 14,576.2 and you get her final displacement to be 15,476.2 metric tons. Now with this displacement, we enter the hydrostatic tables to find her hydrostatic draft of 15,476.2 lies between 7.4 and 7.6 meters. Okay, between 15,226 and 15,693 metric tons. After interpolation, we find the final hydrostatic draft to be 7.507 meters. Now with this draft, you we'll go back to your hydrostatic tables and find her LCF at 7.507 meters. Her LCF will be somewhere between 71.193 and 70.979 meters. Interpolate and we find that to be 71.08 meters. Now this, remember, this is from the arc perpendicular. LCG of number 3 twin neck. And go to hydrostatic tables and locate the LCG of number 3 twin neck. Number 3 twin neck is here. And we have the LCG at 80.79 meters from the arc perpendicular. Since 80.79 meters is further away from the aft perpendicular than the LCF, the trimming moment will be towards the bow. Hence, the forward draft will increase and aft draft will reduce. So, in other words, she will trim by the head. Now we come to problem number 6. On 27th of January at 8 am, she was at a hydrostatic draft of 7.3 meters. The next day at the same time, 8 a.m., she was at a hydrostatic draft of 7.975 meters. In these 24 hours, in these 24 hours, number 2 dB tank port and starboard, which was full with water ballast, was pumped out. Was pumped out, and port queen deck drinking water tank was filled with fresh water. We have to find the amount of cargo loaded during the day. So initial displacement at 7.30 meters in salt water is between 7.2 and 7.4 and 14,761 and 15,026 metric tons. After interpolation, we find the displacement to be 14,993.5 metric tons. Ballast was pumped out. All the ballast was pumped out from number 2 port and starboard DB tanks. We go back to hydrostatic tables to find number 2 DB tanks, port and starboard. Here you got fuel tanks, here you got diesel oil tanks, you got your other tanks in the engine room fresh water and feed water tanks and ballast tanks. Number 2 dB port, 100% cubic capacity is 202.4 and starboard is 202.4. So combined it is 404.8 cubic meters. 404.8 multiplied by 1.025 will give you 414.9 metric tons was pumped out. Fresh water from um, from was received in port twin deck drinking water tank. Port 
twin deck drinking water tank received 49.7 cubic meters multiplied by relative density 1 you received 49.7 metric tons so from your initial displacement you subtract the number 2 the ballast that was pumped out from number 2 dB port and starboard and you add the fresh water that you received in the port window drinking water tank and you get the displacement to be 14,628.3 metric tons the next day she was at a hydrostatic draft of 7.975 meters so come back to the hydrostatic tables 7.975 meters 7.8 and 16,161 and 16,635 7.975 lies in between these two numbers after interpolation we find the final displacement of 7.975 meter draft to be 16,575.8 metric tons the difference between these two displacements gives you the amount of cargo loaded that is working out to 1,947.5 metric tons. 1,947.5 metric tons. That's it for now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Good day.